Look, I just think it's uh, it's a wonderful thing to celebrate. Um, I think it's going to be uh, an extraordinary tournament, um, both the women's tournament in March and the men's tournament later in the year. But 100, to, 100 days to go, demand's going to be high. All I can say to Victorians and Australians who might be watching is get your tickets and get them now uh, because this is going to be a very full stadium on the 8th of March. I'm going to hand over to my friend Gabrielle to talk a bit about this as well. Thank you, Thank you Marty, and thanks all for being here and to our wonderful players who are, who are here today and challenging gender stereotypes uh, each and every day. Sport is such an important vehicle uh, and valuable vehicle in challenging gender stereotypes and uh, we sincerely hope that people are by our sports lovers across the country and across our cricket loving world purchase their tickets and descend on the MCG for March 8th, International Women's Day, to break a record right here in Melbourne for the highest ever attendance of a women's sporting event. Um, uh, what a place to do it, what a city to do it. Uh, and what an important message to send, not just uh, for sport, uh, but for gender equality across uh, our country and across the world. So thank you very much. How exciting is it, the possibility of playing out here in front of a, a capacity crowd? Yeah, it's a um, really exciting opportunity to hopefully get here for the final and um, yeah, break some records to try and get the biggest crowd. Um, it's an incredible stadium, one of the best in the world. So. Um, yeah, it's extremely exciting to know that you know the goal is to sell it out, and um, yeah, hopefully it'll be a big final, and maybe England, Australia. Are you okay, very <laughs> Or New Zealand? <laughs> um, yeah, obviously it's great to have her here. Um, we were making a bit of a joke if we don't make the final. We'll come for a bit of a concert, but um, yeah, she's a great artist to have involved and a real champion of sort of women's sport. So it's great that um, you know she's going to be there on finals day. From an international um, Yeah, well, it's pretty special just being in the crowd and, and being there watching um, a sporting event. So um, to be out there in the middle, that would be that would be next level. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty special, I think. And what do you think of the idea of having Katie Perry? What impact do you think that'll have? I'll obviously have a massive impact. Katie's, um, you know, she's she's world class, and we're all, um, you know, we're all as players really excited just to be. You know, part of a, a campaign that's got her in, involved, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna sort of sort out the application process to be a backup dancer, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I suppose it just gives us a bit of confidence. You know, T20 cricket. Um, you know, the the past is quite irrelevant, I suppose, because you know, especially in women's cricket, everything's. Everything's advancing really quickly, and um, yeah, I suppose it, it does give us a little bit of confidence um, and gives us some, some good memories to sort of look back on. But um, it's all pretty irrelevant um, come next year. Uh, look, they're all going to be pretty pretty tough to beat. Uh, I think we've got India in our in our group, which will be a um, you know it'll be a good challenge. And um, yeah, I suppose anyone we come up against will be um, yeah will be. Tough work. Yeah. You defend that crown? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty exciting prospect, I think. Uh, anytime you get to play cricket for your country is, is pretty special, <coughs> but I think doing it on home turf would be even more so. Uh, I think just having that win, win of the World Cup um, behind, like Soph said, it gives us a little bit of confidence coming into the, the next World Cup, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really mean much until, until we get there. I'll ask you, did you, watch, um, <coughs> did you watch the 2015 World Cup final? Here between Australia and New Zealand, and and is it? Oh, I, can't, I don't mean to. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't mean to bad right. memories, but the excitement and the prospect of potentially <laughs> representing a country out here in a final it must be something special. Yeah, it is. It's incredibly special, and I did did watch that final. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get over the line, but um, no, I think just seeing that and the amount of people that are here, and it really does give you something that you. Uh, inspire to be out there and playing in front of that many people and it's something that I'm really looking forward to hopefully having the opportunity to do. And uh, how's the New Zealand team shaping? Yeah good, I think we've got um, seven players over here at the moment playing the WBBL and um, a lot of those girls are at the top of the um, sort of batting charts at the moment which is great and I think Sophie Devine's in outstanding form and as long as she can um, continue that on for the next six months I think we should be in a pretty good place. Who else do you think is going to be a big challenger in, in the World Cup? Uh, well, I think we're in the same group as um, India and Australia, so obviously it's going to be hard for us to, to get out of that group. We've got to play some really good cricket and they're two extremely good sides, so look, we'll put some plans together and um, see what happens.